If you happen to be a recurring viewer of my YouTube channel, I really hope you got the opportunity to uh, watch the new Darth Maul motion comic I uploaded just this week. It is most definitely the most effort I've put into a motion comic. One of the most fun things for me to do in this one was definitely voicing the character of Dolph Shittyash. Uh, and uh, he's a very fun character to do, takes a lot of practice. <laughs> Ian McDermott happens to be my favorite actor, and I've said this countless times in the past. Who is your favorite actor and actress? Out of actors? Yes. Uh, if I was to say out of actors, I would say it's uh, uh, Ian McDermott. Palpatine happens to be my favorite character. I've done this character a lot, and I really got used to his voice by now. Any help you can give him in extracting himself from his obligations will be greatly appreciated by me. I had to divide the character into the three zones. First of all, we've had the Chancellor slash Senator Palpatine zone. This is, you know, this, this voice where he's the good and very nice politician. Then you have Darth Sidious. Now, here you have to go a bit lower. You have to go to this territory. And this is where I was at for most of the comic. This territory right here. And then you have the Emperor, who I still need the most practice for. Uh, with him, you have to project from the stomach, and that's the biggest problem I have with him. Whenever I do the voice, I happen to either project from the throat or from the chest, causing it to be very sore here. You have to make it wet when it comes to the vocal cords and always project from the stomach. So once I found that particular category where I wanted him to be in the city's voice, so um, a bit deeper than his usual voice, a bit deeper, so more like he sounds like right now in 2020. <laughs> yeah, I can't step out the front door, you know. I went on to the Santa Menace movie, I screen recorded every single scene he had as Senator Palpatine and Asidious, and I had to spend uh, 40 or 25 minutes around that time, I didn't really count because I was so invested in playing the character, to practice refining the voice, so I did the voice over and over and over again. This is an unexpected move for her. <sighs> <coughs> I had to do the vocal warm-up exercises, because this is what... not many people do this. But I got this tip from a Russian actor by the name of Anton Ildarev. It's such a helpful tip, because it gets your voice ready, and you, you actually pronounce letters better, even the ones that are difficult for you. I look at the line, and I look at the words individually, and I think, okay, so has this actor said this word somewhere? You have the word excellent. So I look, has he said excellent? Yes, he has. In my favorite scene in Attack of the Clothes, he says, Excellent. So I do, excellent, 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 excellent. And then when I feel I'm ready, I record, excellent, excellent. What's the next thing he says? It's, I have a task for you. Now, I don't recall Ian saying this, however, this was said by um, Bradley C Klein in the Vader f fan film. I have a task for you. So I say it the same way here. I have a task for you. Obviously go a bit less raspy and a bit lower pitch to match the Sidious personality and not the Emperor one. You will prepare yourself for a journey. So what I see, he's giving Maul the instructions. So I go to the scene where he gives Maul the instructions in um, The Phantom Menace when he says Move against the Jedi first. So I try to say this sentence in the same way as he said that one. I divide it by a middle, a beginning and an end and I look at and I divide the other one too and I try to make sure that in the beginning he says it like he says here in the beginning. In the middle like he says there in the beginning and in the end like he says there in the end. Another one I wanted to address is when he says not yet. This is a line that Mace Windu happens to say, and I thought, well, it'll be a, it'll be a very fun parallel if Ian, uh, if Sidious, pronounces it the same way that Samuel Jackson did. So I, I, I don't do the Samuel Jackson voice, but I do do the same pronunciation, so I go, not yet. You know, that kind of structure, because he's like, not yet. And here I go, not yet. It kind of mirrors, you know, that's funny. 
And then he says the word The Sith have remained hidden for a thousand years. Where has he said the words the Sith? Of course, it's obvious. He says it in the uh, when he says not for a Sith. So you go the Sith, not for a Sith. The Sith, not for a Sith. The Sith. But for now. Where has he said the words for now? In this scene in Star Wars Rebels. Obviously, I don't go for the Sam Witwer version. No, no, no. I go for the Ian re-voice re of the scene, and you can hear him saying, For now. So I do the same thing here. But for now. But for now. But for now. The next two sentences he says are the most fun I had ever in this particular issue because they are so fun and I can play so many little, little moments in there to kind of make it similar to Ian McDermott. Lands for the blockade of Naboo are in place. The Trade Federation will prove to be a useful pawn to us. He says plans for the blockade of Naboo. Now, where did we hear Palpatine say the word Naboo? We hear it two times, maybe more, but these are the two times that came up to my mind straight away. When he says, You will then have no difficulty in taking the queen to Naboo. To Naboo. To Naboo. And that is the Sidious voice, which fits perfectly, which is why I chose that. Now the second one is when he says, I present Queen Amidala, recently elected ruler of the Naboo. But that's Senator Palpatine. And it's kind of more like, Naboo! So that doesn't quite fit, because that's more, uh expressive and here I think he should be more so and then he says the trade federation will prove to be a useful pawn to us now here I can take out three words trade federation and pawn now trade federation we hear him say and has now engulfed our entire planet in the oppression of the trade federation he says the trade federation and the end even sounds a bit like cities the trade federation the trade federation the Trade Federation. So that's what I do. And then he says the words pawn. Now pawn, he said that when he says, Don't continue to be a pawn of the Jedi Council. So pawn, you know, like that. And I gave him a bit more raspiness here. I don't know why I shouldn't have done that, but it just felt natural. But then the emojis themselves are problematic. Their avarice and incompetence makes them undependable. He's calling out the Nemodians for their incompetence. And I thought, well, where have I heard that before? And I knew immediately. When he calls out Dolte Do Fine. Christ, I don't want this stunted slime in my sight again. First it's a build-up, and then there's this crescendo, shall we say, when he's in my sight again. So it's like... Their avarice and incompetence makes them undependable! But a bit faster, of course. Assuring that will be your duty. I knew immediately how to do this line, because I uh, happen to really be a big fan of his speech in Revenge of the Sith. So when he says, But I assure you, assure you, assure you, assure you. So I said, Assuring that, you hear? Assuring that, assure you, assuring that. The next parallel that I was very happy to make, and I was very fortunate to make, is when there's this close-up in the comic and he says, I want you to strike in the heart of Black Sun. It's very, very subtle, and it's obvious that it's supposed to be subtle because it's specifically a close-up of a panel in the comic to show, I think at least, that's how I got it, that he's speaking it quietly and subtly and he's really meaning it. And that is such an obvious parallel, although the comic was made before that, so I think it's just a lucky coincidence, to when Ian says in Revenge of the Sith, I want you to go to the Jedi Temple. And it's also a very quiet and subtle moment. And I was like, well, that's exactly it, because we have him hear him telling his apprentice in the exact same wording what to do, and then in Revenge of the Sith, the same thing. And it's even very obviously the same emotion he's expressing. So that was very fun, because I could use the source material to my whole advantage to make that proper. Do you wish Black Sun destroyed utterly? No! I could do it the more subtle no, like more city like no. No, or something like, no, no, no. But I, I, I 
I felt that drawing a parallel to when he says No! No! That would be better, I felt, because he's clearly giving more instructions. He's clearly explaining something. So he must make every detail sound right. So when Mole says Utterly. He should say it angrily, be like no, to make sure that Mole doesn't confuse it with anything. So that Mole remembers, yes, I should not destroy it utterly. That's what my master commands. So I gave him that angry tone. No! Come. I immediately understood, well, that's, that's a very good parallel to Return of the Jedi where he says Come, boy. See for yourself. And I felt like, well, it's appropriate, so why don't I just do an Emperor impression here and just say, Come. Like he does in Return of the Jedi when he's speaking to Luke. Black Sun is organized under one master. I decided, well, how about here I draw it to when he says, You will call me master. And he has that, he has that very dry, dry voice, master. I decided to put it here, so have him have him say, Black Sun is organized under one master. Lord Maul, as you are my tool, this shall be yours. So I looked at the speech bubble and I saw Lord Maul. Now when did we hear him say Lord Maul? Not Darth Maul, Lord Maul. Because we heard him say Darth Maul two times in The Phantom Menace. Uh, and... Uh, if it was Darth Maul, I would imitate those, but we hear him say Lord Maul, and we hear that in The Phantom Menace too, when he says, Lord Maul, be mindful. Let them make the first move. And I looked, and it says, As you are my tool, be mindful. As you are my tool. Such similar sounding phrases. I could almost tie them together. It's almost like the syllables even sound similar uh, in their number. So I was like, Wow, I can tie it in here, and it was such a fun opportunity to do. So I decided uh, to make it Lord Mole, be mindful. Let them make the first move. Lord Mole, as you are my tool, be mindful. As you are my tool, let them make the first move. This shall be yours. So we even ended in the same way. It was such a fun thing to do. That's why I like. That's why I love playing cities. Honestly, obviously I love practicing it. It's much better than it used to be, like five years ago, right now. But uh, it's it's it still has a lot to go until we reach the peak at which he ended, and we have the flawless impression. Probably at age ninety, maybe I'll start at least somewhat being unrecognizable as him. But I would like to also say that I am very excited to play the role in my new upcoming project, The Imperial Rule, where he is obviously the in charge of the galaxy by that point, so that will be quite 